So this is about climate change and the greenhouse effect. So let's just learn about what the greenhouse effect is first. This is planet Earth, and this is the sun, and when the sun heats up the Earth, the Earth absorbs the heat, and then it radiates it back out. Now what happens is that there are a few gases which trap and block the heat as it's trying to escape. And those gases which you need to know are carbon dioxide, methane and water vapour. And they are called the greenhouse gases. And if they weren't there, the temperature of the earth would be about minus 18 degrees. Now, scientists have recorded that the average temperature of the Earth doesn't stay the same, it varies, it changes, and in fact over the last 150 years the temperature of the Earth has increased, and this graph shows that. So, what can we say for certain? Well, we know that the global temperature has gone up, and this may be because of human activity, but we don't know for sure. What we do know is that carbon dioxide levels have gone up over the last 200 years because we are burning more fossil fuels. Also, methane levels have gone up because we're doing more farming and we've got more cows which are burping and farting more methane. So we know that the temperature has gone up, we know that carbon dioxide levels have gone up, so we can say between those two different variables there is a correlation. So, how can we reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the air? Well, there are two ideas. One is to add iron compounds to the oceans. This is going to help plants grow faster, which means that little sea creatures with shells are going to eat those plants and they're going to take in more and more carbon dioxide. The other idea is to do with power stations and that carbon dioxide as it's being released from a power station can be captured and turned into hydrocarbons.